Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Thomas Fishing Adventures. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to tie one of my favourite rigs when I'm fishing for heavier fish. It's real simple and it works real effectively. And this particular rig here is one of my favourites. I've been using it for ages and it hasn't failed me. It's called the double ganged hook. Well, a lot of people have different names for it, but that's what I call it. It works really effectively. It's real easy to tie and uh, it's just an awesome rig. So stay tuned if you want to know how to tie it. Okay guys, to tie this rig you're going to need two hooks, depending on what size you're going to be fishing, heavy leader, and lastly, your braided scissors. Alrighty guys, the first thing you want to do when you're tying this knot is to estimate how much line you want to use for your trace. I'm going to be using about, uh, about 60 centimetres of 40 pound trace. Just give that a snip. Okay guys, then what you want to do is grab your particular hook that you're going to be using. For, in this case, I'm going to be using a 5 0 suicide hook. And what you want to do is grab your excess line and create just a little loop around your hook. And then what you want to do is pinch it there. And then with that tag end, wrap it around the shank of the hook. Now for this particular demonstration, I'm going to do it around, um, around 12 times. But if you do feel that you're not may slip, it may pay to go a little bit more just to give you that reassurance. Alrighty guys, so I've just finished my uh, wrapping around my shank and now what I want to do is grab my tag end and just pull it nice and tightly and you notice that that will just start to come together just like that. So there we go. Alrighty guys, so I've just finished that snell and you'll notice what I've done is I've actually pulled it tight so just that the knot um, at the top of the shank of the hook is real tight and pull that in, that's not slipping, that's not going to slip definitely. So now what you want to do is see that tag in there, I just grab my braided scissors and just cut it just like that and you notice that I've left a little bit on there just in case the knot does slip by any chance, that way I've got a little bit of reassurance that it's not going to pull. Alrighty guys, now what you want to do, once you've done that snell, is to grab your line and put it through the eyelet of your hook, as I've done there. And what you want to do is just pull it down to where your hook is. And what you want to do is just position it as to where you want your hook to be. If I was live baiting with this particular rig, I would leave it a little bit more um, from each hook. But because I'm, I'll be only be using bait with this, I like to leave it around uh, 7 to 8 centimetres. As I said, depending on your size of your bait, you can always adjust this. Now what you want to do is grab your trace line and wrap it around the shank of the hook, heading downwards towards the shank of the hook, just like that. And same, same uh, thing for this one, guys. Probably do around 11 to 12 wraps. Alrighty, guys, so I've just finished my wrap now. Now what I want to do is keep it firmly there so it doesn't slip. And through the eye of the hook, I'm going to put my trace line back up through it and you may, it may slip, but this is the case where I like to add a little bit of saliva just so it nice, slips really nicely. Righty guys, so I've just added my saliva and what I want to do is work it down towards the eye of the hook. So maybe a bit of a push, and there we go. And that is our second snell. Alrighty guys, now that we've got both of our snells done, as you can see there, they're looking pretty snazzy. What you want to do now is, with the end of your trace, just create another loop like that. And a lot of people have different ways of doing this. I just like to keep it nice and simple. Once you've got your um, loop there, put it back over the main line there and put it through that hole that we've just made there. And what you want to do now is just wrap it around. I like to do it around three times. A lot of people only do it one or, once or twice, but I like to have a bit of reassurance that it's going to work up nicely on a big fish. So once we've got that, guys, what you want to do now is add a bit of tension to it and just slowly pull it and you notice that will slowly come together real nicely. Well guys, there we go. There's our loop that we've made to our um, snelled hooks. And you'll notice that there's a bit of um, tag line there. I'll grab my braided scissors and just snip that off as I did with the other ones. Just leave around half a centimetre left. And there we go. Well guys, so there we have it. As you can see, that particular rig was real easy to tie and it should hold up really nicely against big fish. Also, on another note, we just hit 500 subscribers, so I'm real grateful for that, guys. Thank you so much, it means a lot. Um, I've been doing it for quite a while, and just to hit that really means a lot. So I just wanna thank, say thank you to all of you guys that are out there that have subscribed to me. 
um, it really means a lot and I hope we can get somewhere along the way. So, cheers. And also guys, if you haven't yet, um, please make sure to check out my Instagram uh, page, Tom's Fish Adventures. As you can see here, um, I post a lot. As you see there, ma many of these photos here actually don't make it into videos, but they're just all behind the scenes. So there's one from the river and um, up on the Yorks and yeah. So guys, as you can see there, um, a lot of those photos on my Instagram page don't actually make it into videos. So what I post mainly on my Instagram page is just like behind the scenes footage and just sessions that don't make it into a video. So if you like what you saw there, please make sure to um, jump over to my Instagram page. I'll have a link in the description below this video, so make sure to check it out. Well guys, on a serious note, I really do hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, that particular rig was a real easy rig to tie and I've been using it for ages and to be honest, I haven't lost any fish to it. Um, from any not slipping and all that so it's worked really well for me and I hope it works really well for you But yeah guys as you probably know I'm gonna be uploading a lot more videos um, I've just hit holidays at the moment so exams have gone about time. I'm, I'm, I'm wrapped about that But yeah, so hopefully um, I'm gonna have a few more videos coming out a lot more frequently over these two weeks holidays And also guys, I've just started up my Facebook page Thomas Fisher Adventures So if you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description to that one as well And also guys, if you do have any um, questions, comments or suggestions Please make sure to leave them in the comment section below um, I'll always check them so anything you say um, really takes I take into consideration And I try and put it into my videos to make more videos um, for you guys and try and make better quality ones for you. If you like this video, please make sure to like, um, subscribe, share with your mates, um, all that stuff, because it really does mean a lot when you guys um, support me. So yeah, fish on.